Okay, well, welcome back. So now that we've had the intro to limits and infinity, now let's actually talk about how to figure out what they actually equal. How do we evaluate them? So here's some guidelines that we can use. And now these are guidelines. These are not hard and fast rules, um, but they do help out a lot. Uh, so if the degree of the numerator or the highest exponent on the top is less than the degree of the denominator, then the limit is going to equal zero. And that's how I could tell so fast that that previous limit was equal to zero. Because if you look, the denominator has the bigger degree, the numerator has a degree of zero, the denominator has a degree of four. So the denominator wins, uh, which means the limit is zero. <clears throat> okay. So number two, if the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, then the limit is either infinity or negative infinity, one of the two. And we'll look at examples and you'll know which one it will be. Um, but just remember as a little side note that if the limit is infinity or negative infinity, that's really saying the limit is it DNA or it does not exist. It's just telling you how it doesn't exist. Okay, so then there's a third case. And that's when the degrees are equal. So then the limit is the ratio of the leading coefficients. So the coefficient, that's the coefficient in front of the term where you get the degree. Um, so most of the time, these things are not that difficult to evaluate. Sometimes you have to do uh, a little bit of logic, um, kind of got some more reasoning skills than algebraic. Uh, but most of the time, these things are going to go pretty fast if you kind of just stick to these guidelines. You do, however, want to be cognizant of the signs and how these things are coming out. Okay, so let's go ahead and evaluate uh, a few of these just to kind of give you a feel for them. All right, so the limit as x approaches infinity, um, if you look, the degree of the top is going to be 1. The degree of the denominator is going to be 3. So the denominator is the, big, is the bigger degree. So that limit is going to equal 0. And if you look at the guideline, it doesn't say... It matters if it's going off to negative infinity or, or infinity. You're just sticking with the degrees. And if the denominator is bigger, then it's just automatically zero. So if you look at part B, it's the exact same function, but we switched what X was approaching. Um, and that's not going to matter because the denominator is the bigger one. So it's going to go off to zero. Okay, so let's look at part C. Almost the same function, but we changed the denominator to 3x minus 1. So now, the denominator and the numerator have the same degree. It's a tie. So they're equal. So the guideline says, hey, it's the ratio of the leading coefficients. So the leading coefficient of the top is 2. The leading coefficient of the denominator is a 3. So it's two-thirds. All right, so let's jump over to part D. It's still a tie. The degrees are equal. So now we're going to take the leading coefficient. So on the top, it's the negative two. The denominator is the positive three, so it's a negative two-thirds. So sometimes they can come out as zero, sometimes they're positive, sometimes they're negative. Just kind of depends on what the function is and what x is doing itself. Okay, so part E, it's a tie again. So the top would be going off to 2, and the denominator would be going off to 3. But if you look, you're 
x is approaching negative infinity. So when it's going out to negative infinity, that means it's actually approaching negative numbers. So let's see what that's gonna do. So if you plugged in like bigger and bigger and bigger negative numbers for x, that's gonna make your numerator negative. Like if you plugged in negative 10,000 for x, the top's gonna be a negative number. Well, if you did the same thing in the denominator, plugged in like that negative 10,000, the denominator is also gonna be negative. So it still comes out to equal a two thirds. So when you're looking at the degrees, you know, it's not really gonna matter if it's gonna go off to positive infinity or negative infinity because the signs are gonna work out and give you that same ratio of the leading coefficients. So if we did it again uh, for this one, it's a tie. So it's gonna come out as negative two thirds. And if you did that same thing, if you plugged in like negative 2000, the top would actually be a positive, but the denominator would be a negative. So positive over a negative is still a negative. Okay, so that's a good little intro to some of the more basic ones. In the next video, we'll look at ones that are a little bit more complicated.